do the sh**. Lacumin is a line of rodenticides produced by Bayer AG. In the Philippines, a specific commercial became iconic to Filipinos due to its unsettling atmosphere and its so-called iconic chant. The commercial starts with a lot avoiding a mousetrap as the number of lots increases. A segment where a kid was scared as he was standing on a platform was shown. The iconic scene of a voiceover chanting Daga, Daga, Daga was narrated. And as the number of lots increased, the chant became faster and faster. When the lots are fed with vacuumin, the lots decrease, and so the chant becomes slower. The words, sa vacuumin, matari naman ang daga, wala pa rin kawala, was shown. The commercial aired in the 1990s, primarily on ABS-CBN, GMA, and ABC5. The commercial was always discussed in the spooky advertisements groups, and the recollections of the eyewitnesses are the only solid evidence of the commercial. For now, the commercial remains lost. On March 17, 1995, Filipino domestic worker Flor Contemplacion was executed in Singapore after being convicted of killing two individuals, namely a 34-year-old Filipino domestic worker, Derya Mamarimaga, and a 3-year-old boy named Nicholas Wang. The execution caused a massive rift between the relations of Philippines and Singapore along with causing several protests across the country for Contemplacion. A prayer video named Candila at Panarangin para kay Flor Contemplacion was aired in ABS-CBN in the same year after the news of her execution broke. The commercial starts off with a dark background as a candle is being lit in the dark. Accompanied by the song Habang May Buhay by Vence Cornejo, the voiceover Peter Muskin narrated over the commercial, an eyewitness was able to memorize the start of the narration. Mga kababayan, sa mga sandaling ito, tayo po ay mag-aray ng katahimikan, kandila at panarangin para sa ating mahal na kababayan na si. A superimposed picture of floor contemplation was then shown. The plug was mainly shown to the network at all times, mainly during afternoon and night, and it lasted for several weeks. With Peter Musnig's deep pitch narration and its background, the commercial became iconic due to its eerie and unsettling atmosphere. For now, the only footage we have of the commercial is a one-second frame from ABS-CBN's Millennium Station ID, although recreations were made by several people. The World Meeting of Families is a gathering of the Roman Catholic Church. The purpose of this gathering is to unite Catholic families all over the world. From January 22 to 26, 2003, the Fourth World Meeting of Families was held in the Philippines. Pope John II was unable to attend due to his poor health, although the event continued and a live recorded message from the Pope was made. From late 2002 to 2003, Several PSAs were made as teasers for the event. Aired on radio and TV, these PSAs have several variants and always pertain to their unsettling domestic abuse plot. The first variant starts with the sound of footsteps, with the mayor voiceover saying, This is the sound of the steps of shoes made by Italian leather, followed by a mother crying after being slapped with a shoe with the mayor voiceover saying, this is the sound of her mother who is a victim of domestic violence. In another variant, it starts with a dark background and a humming generator music noise as a white text talks about the heating point of iron and how long iron is heated to a certain temperature. The text and humming noise abruptly disappear as something is hit and someone screams in pain. There were said to be two versions of this variant, a man screaming and a woman screaming. A new text then appears and a creepy music box tune is played. The text kept changing until the logo appeared and the music box tune stopped. 
there were also two more PSA variants, a child seeing a fair jack as she sat and reclined after seeing her about her family, and a version where a child and a woman are repeatedly being whipped by a bird as the child says, Tama na. Only remembered by several eyewitnesses, all variants are currently lost. In the r slash Ross Media subreddit, a now deleted user told about a certain Filipino animal rights PSA he saw in the early 90s to the late 2000s. Similarly, several people also remember that specific PSA in a spooky advertisements group. Said to be made by the Philippine Animal Welfare Society, there are two variants of this PSA. The first variant follows a dog put in a white sack and beaten with sticks as the dog cries and whimpers in pain. After the few moments, the dog dies as no sound or movement is heard and the sack is shown to be heavily stained with blood. The second variant follows a cat in a sack carried by two people in a car. While being carried, the cat is heard whimpering. The two people threw the sack in an upcoming car said to be a truck or a jeep. The ad aired on Studio 23 and ABS-CBN in the late 90s and early 2000s. However, the two PSAs remain lost to this day. Seed Love Devotion, also known as the One O'Clock Player Habit, was developed by the Mama Mary's Movement Foundation Incorporated. Since the 1990s and 2000s, ABC5 has primarily aired the Daily One O'Clock Player. There are two versions, the first version which aired from the late 1990s to the 2000s and the second version which aired in the 2000s. The first version is infamous for its unsettling atmosphere as it also contains a picture of the Agu apparition. The interstitial starts with the time 1 o'clock displayed. The word wish worships that the Father, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Holy Spirit is shown followed by an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and an image of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Hail Mary prayer was then narrated as different pictures of Mama Mary, Bakralan Church, Catholics, and the infamous Agu apparition are shown. A typewriter like words, Heavenly Father with Mama Mary, we lift up to you the petitions of our brothers and sisters who are praying now, was shown. After a long pause, a picture of Mary crying with Jesus said to be the Peter painting was shown during the end at the hour of our death, Amen part. The phrase, Mama Mary lead us to Jesus, seated up devotion on Apple Garamon font was then shown along with the logo of Mama Mary's Movement Foundation Incorporated. The commercial became a hot topic in the spooky advertisements group. It was mainly aired during Cine Classics on ABC5. An eyewitness also saw it air on ABC13. The second version, which aired in the early 2000s, is freely available online. This version is more right-hearted than the first one. Several pictures featured in the first version are also available online. I recently contacted Filipino archivist and thus fixation, and he had the tape that had the player, but he unfortunately threw it away. For now, the full commercial still remains lost.